It's 804 happening today. Thousands of beekeepers and their bees will be swarming the city today. It's all part of the 18th annual beekeeping school. News 8's Angela Cockaday is live at Decatur Central High School where the event kicks off later this morning, Angela. Good morning, Brenna. Well, listen, I think it's safe to say that when people hear the word bee, they tend to run away from the bees. But not today. Crowds are gathering here at Decatur High Central High School. I'm with David Indiana, one of Indiana's beekeepers. First of all, what is a beekeeper? What do you do in your day-to-day -day job? Well, we try to keep bees alive is the first most important thing. Okay. We've moved bees into people's orchards or whatever to pollinate crops, and then we also like to produce honey. Okay. And what are you looking forward today to being here at the sort of the beekeeping school? At this beekeeping school, there's over a thousand people here today, which is one of the largest beekeeping events, one day events in the United States. Wow. And so today we'll be teaching new beekeepers that want to learn beekeeping, as well as teaching older beekeepers other things today there'll be a lot of breakout sessions so there's a lot of knowledge here for everybody to gain awesome thank you so much and i'm also joined by mary the honey queen the national honey queen i didn't even know that i love your crown who knew that bees could come with crowns right <laughs> so my job is to travel across the united states talking about how honeybees are the superheroes to american agriculture the superheroes what are some of the biggest misconceptions that you kind of hear about with bees well one of the worries is about getting stung but really bees don't want to sting you and if they sting, they die. And they actually pollinate a third of our food. Interesting. Well, thanks so much. We've got more bees coming up in the next hour. So stay with us. But for now, Brenna, back to you. Be ready, Anzali. Thank you. Time